after you first purchase iWeave It or after you've loaded it onto a new device, you will want to get your add-on icons that you will see here, the treadle tracker, the design tools, and the project calculator. To get to those, pick the menu, pick add-on features. Each one is described here, and you'll see a Buy Now button and a more info. You can get more information about them there. Track treadling, project and yarn calculator. If you have loaded it onto a new device and you want to get add-ons that you've already purchased, then pick Restore Purchases at the top. I have already purchased these, so I will get those. And it loads them pretty quick because they're already there. Then you're done with this dialogue. And now you see your add-on icons here for each of your add-ons. The first demo will be about the treadle tracker and then future uh, demos will be on the project calculator and the design tools. To make threading more interesting, I am going to go over and open a few different file that has more things. I think I'll open this file. It has, it's in the samples. It's called Shadow Weave. You can see that it's a four shaft pattern with fairly complicated looking treadling. So to start the threading, which is the first thing you do, you pick the track threading, treadling, threading, and we want to do the threading. So we're going to tap that one first. And you will see a screen displayed across the window with uh, your threading in it. The red box shows you your current position and the threads that you want to thread. You will notice the Start tracking, that's where you press to start your tracking. The info shows you information about how to use this. Mark location is for checking your yarns. We'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Here's your options, and there's where you would pick reverse. So I will pick start tracking, and it turns to red. When it's red, you're in a tracking mode. You pick up four threads, you thread your one, two, your two, one, two, three, and then you tap the screen anywhere. You can tap inside or outside, and it advances to the next set of threads. Four, two, one, four. When you finish that one, you pick the next one. Oops, I hit it twice. So, but it, at warp 13 shows you the position that you're at. If we hit it twice, let's do a reverse and we'll hit it back and then we'll go forward again. And now I'm at the right pick. Warp pick, whoops, I touched it again. Go reverse, back one, go forward. Careful when you're touching in the screen when doing a demo. Okay, so now we're at this warp through nine, and we're doing three, one, two, three. So when you're ready to stop tracking, you pick the stop tracking. Look at the options. You have options. You can set the group size, which is currently set to four. You can set it to any size that makes sense for your design. In this case, four works well, but maybe five, you could use five or six, uh, depending on how many you use. You can also set the pick to wherever you want. Let's adjust it and we'll start back at four just for fun. And you can set those things in the options. So now it's at pick two, three, four. Pick four, and it's showing that. Now I want to show you mark location. When I pick mark location, you'll notice that it says four there. And you can't see it until we advance it, but it's drawn a green line right at that position. 
when I start tracking, start tracking, it shows the four, but you can't mark it. So I advance, I thread those four, and I advance to the next position. Now you see the green line. The green line is an indicator and I use it to mark where I'm at when I'm threading so that when I can done about an inch, I can go back and check that inch. So let's say I've threaded about to there. Now I stop my tracking and I see the mark location again. And this time I want to check my threading. Now I haven't threaded this one, but I've threaded from this green line over to the beginning of the red line. And those are the threads that I will pick up in my hand and compare them. And then I will tie that into a bundle and set it down to as I've already checked it. So I do that about every inch to make sure that my threading is correct and I can thread pretty complicated patterns with that technique. So that is about the, all you need. You can always do reverse and if you wanted to go in the opposite direction. So we'll pick start tracking, reverse, and now you can track in the opposite direction. Oops. Okay, and go forward, stop tracking, and then tap to resume. When you come back to it and pick threading again, it remembers exactly where you were and it remembers all of your options. Next, I want to show you the thread link. So I pick the icon again, and this time I pick Track Treadling. Here it's showing you the treadle to lift, and this is the pick that you've just lifted. Up here you see the name. Uh, here's your options. Here's your start and stop tracking. Here's reverse. The loop count shows you how many times you've gone through the complete pattern, and the pick shows you again which pick you're currently on. And that shows you the help. When you only have one pick, you see these little arrows, but you can also group the picks. Discovered that when you track your treadling with your manually, not with a computer, you can really do more than one thread at a time. So we can set it to um, do four threads at a time. So we're going to start, pick, stop tracking. We're going to start, pick, start tracking. And when you, you will see a line here right across the screen. And when you tap on the screen, it will advance. So each time you do a pick, you will advance the screen. And then you can pick stop tracking to stop it. In your options, you can pick treadle by group. And you, if you have, usually I like to do about four threads. I can think well with about four threads. So I treadle four threads at a time. And you, that means you only have to tap it every fourth pick. You can also show the shafts to lift. If you're working on a table loom, that makes a lot of sense. You can set the start position and you can set the loop counter we'll put the start position back to one and you pick done and you're now back to one now what you're seeing is the shafts to lift so if you're on a table loom that makes a lot of sense you see that we're on loop one and pick one i start tracking i tap the screen and it jumped four picks. I tapped the screen and it jumped four picks. So in this case, you weave pick nine, 10, 11, and 12. And when you've completed picking 12, then you advance the screen again. So it makes the, fat, the weaving a little faster when you use groups. 
You can reverse here. You unweave and it goes the other direction. So now it's going 12, 11, 10, 9. And it works back to where you were. If I go forward, it's 9, 10, 11, and 12 again. If I go back over and stop tracking and I go back to my options, the last thing I want to show you is doing a partial loop. That means that you can set the starting point and the ending point somewhere in the pattern, but it doesn't have to be at the beginning or the end, but it can be somewhere else, and then it'll tap to that position. So let's, and I use the scroller or the pluses, so let's start at pick 10, pick 10, and we'll go to pick 20. Okay, so I want to loop around between 10 and 20. Now right now it's at 10, but let's just for kicks put it down lower and you'll see it won't let me go lower. If you're in there, it just jumps right to the beginning. It won't let me go higher either. If I push it here, it won't let me go higher. It makes me stay in that loop. So I'm done. All right, so now I'm doing pick 10, 11, 12, and 13. And that's in my loop. I start tracking. And now I'm doing 18, 19, and 20. But notice it comes back to 10 because that's the beginning of my next loop. Now I do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and back to the beginning of that loop. And it, the loop counter will advance with each loop. And it keeps track of that for you. When you're done, you stop tracking. Dismiss the dialogue, come back later, and it shows you exactly where you were. It doesn't have, it doesn't do automatically reverse, but you can pick that if you want. But it will pick all the other options, so it still thinks it's doing a loop. So we'll go start tracking, and it's doing the loop again. Stop tracking. Okay, and you're done. So that's the treadle tracking add-on.